Joining us today is Dr. Susan Douglas. She and her business partner have created a very interesting company called No Mommy's Perfect. Now what I love about this co company is that I know I'm not a perfect mom, but we all think that we need to be or should be and we struggle with that. Dr. Susan Douglas is here with us today to tell us about her company and the various products, the book that she's writing, and the website. So I can't wait to hear more about it. And tell us first what inspired you to start this business. All right, well, what inspired me is I went to a birthday party, and it was the second birthday party of the day, because you know we often have two or three a day when you have a, I think my daughter was three. And I had designed a shirt that said, not a perfect mom. And four moms just stormed me and said, where did you get your shirt? And I said, I designed it. And they said, well, we want one. So that's kind of how it, it came out. And we were just bonding and all of that. And so I knew there was a need for that. And I'm a psychiatrist and I kind of know the, the real deal about motherhood and I'm a mom. So it, it grew from that. And yet, having been a psychiatrist for as long as you had been, you, you say that you almost felt unprepared when you were truly confronted with being a real mom. Is exactly, that and I was a labor and delivery nurse before that. Oh my so gosh. I, I mean, I really felt like, oh my goodness, how do, how do other people feel when they haven't been a labor and delivery nurse and a psychiatrist? I mean, this is hard work. I was very, I was very humbled and very empathic with all mothers. I felt like I kind of joined the human race after I had my daughter. So she was my biggest inspiration. And I felt very much down to earth and just very, very inspired to just put it out there that no mommy's perfect and to make it more of a, a way of uniting all mothers who might see this phrase and maybe brighten their day a little bit. So. And I just, I feel just even talking to you, I personally feel a sense of relief when you say it because it's really validating that feeling that we all have. Whether you're a stay-at-home mom, you're working full-time, part-time, you're dreaming to do something, or whatever it is, we all have moments throughout the day, and it's pretty much every day when you're a yeah. mom that, oh gosh, you know, I could have done this better, or maybe I should have thought it through this way. And, and so I, I thank you for that, and I know that mothers around the world are thanking you right now, too. Mm -hmm. Tell us about, then, your products and your book that you're writing and kind of what the intention is behind them. The intention is that um, we would love for every delivering mom or adopting mom to have a ideally a free copy of our book. Now we haven't exactly figured out how that's going to happen but we are hoping for corporate sponsorship to um, help us in that and we want to recruit stories from real moms because real moms know how it really is. Real dads too, you know, there's a lot of stay-at-home dads and um, families. And so on our website, we are going to have, um, we're gonna be completely changing our website in about a month and having a, a place where you can submit stories for our book. So this is gonna be a book of real stories from real moms because we all have the what to expect when you're expecting, how to breastfeed. Breastfeeding for me was so much harder than I thought. I mean, I didn't even buy formula. I was like, I'm not gonna breastfeed. And then I was like, oh my goodness, this is so much harder than I thought. And so we all have these books on how to do it right, but you kinda need a book on how it really is to make sure you know that you're okay. And that is so true. I mean, all the tactical books in the world that are you know, focused on the exact this step and that process still don't really meet the, meet the needs of the mindset that we all go through, you know, exactly. on becoming moms. And, and, and also that, that being a mom has so many iterations. There's so many changes. It's so different from when you're a mom of a newborn baby versus a toddler versus a teenager. Are you addressing that as well in your Exactly. Your I mean, just as soon as you get your little routine down, they change. You know, the only thing you can be assured of is that things are going to change as soon as you get your your, you know, you kind of get your groove on, it's gonna change. Yeah. So you learn to be very flexible. And I have a lot of moms that maybe they have MBAs or they're lawyers and they stay home for a while and they think, well, what am I gonna put on my resume? I've been home for five years. I'm like, well, you've become incredibly flexible. You've become an, a huge organizer. You've organized, you know, five people's schedules. You, you've gained a lot of skills being a stay-at-home mom. And it, it has really humbled me because, I mean, you know, nursing school, med school, residency, whatever, being a mother has been the most challenging job I've ever had. So I couldn't agree with you more. Well, thank so, you so much for sharing welcome. this with us today. And 
Can't wait um, to read your book and go to your you. website. Thank you. Thank you. It's No Mommy's Perfect and um, visit us. Great. Thanks, Thanks. Susan. Thank you.